Brian was a real easy kid to raise. He was just such a loving child. When I would take a trip, he would go with me. And then we started doing trips across the country. And so we just developed this, this bond. Oh, we're going to do that, we're going to do that. Ryan Ferguson was an all-American college student from Columbia, Missouri, who'd never been in trouble until the unthinkable happened. Leslie called and said, have you heard that Ryan's been arrested? I go, that is ridiculous. I guarantee you that did not happen. It's like being in a bad movie. His high school friend, Chuck Erickson, told police that he and Ryan had committed the murder of newspaper editor Kent Heitold two and a half years earlier. Chuck told police that the memory came back to him in a dream. Tell us now if it was all a dream. I did this. He did this. I didn't dream anything. Ryan was convicted without any physical evidence tying him to the crime and sentenced to 40 years in prison. He's my son. And I'm totally convinced that he is innocent. I'm going to prove my son's innocent. That day, Ryan's father began a tireless fight to free his son. I feel like Bill Ferguson is the most unusual father of anybody I've ever met in one of these cases because of his persistence in fighting for Ryan. He's devoted his whole life to him. While Ryan sat behind bars, his family launched a media crusade to draw attention to his case. All right, would you like a pamphlet about my son's case? People worldwide began demanding his freedom, while his family continued to appeal his case in court, arguing that the prosecution had intimidated witnesses and withheld crucial evidence from Ryan's defense. I said it wasn't him. I, I told my boyfriend, I told everybody I knew. When you pointed to Ryan Ferguson, was that true or false? It's false. I'd like to have forgiveness from Ryan and his family. Even Chuck Erickson recanted his testimony. Yeah, I was lying through my teeth. I don't want to die knowing that uh, I, did, I did the wrong thing. And after almost 10 years in prison. My favorite attorney. Today? No way. They're ordering his release. Whoa! Um, I, it just takes my breath away. <laughs> Nine and a half years. 